Hello, welcome, welcome back to the YouTube channel Jing and I'm Jerry Jada. And in today's video, I've kind of been hinting this, not really, but I've been talking about how I have something interesting, special planned. So finally the photos have been developed and I'm able to share with you all that I made I um, had a kind of a film aesthetic photo shoot of my K-pop collection and just K-pop related stuff. The photos will have been uploaded on Instagram, so if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and see the photos. And um, so I'm just going to show you guys my layout. I've just got a bunch of photos. I've got probably over, I don't know, like 50 photos that I took. So I'm really excited to share them with all of you and give, me, and give a review on them. So this is how my desk is looking right now. Just a bunch of photos everywhere, stacks of photos, variety and stacks, just a bunch of things. So I'm super excited to be doing this video. So let's just get right into it. First, I'm going to just talk about the obvious and just how these cameras and how user-friendly they are. So for example, this one versus this one. Size-wise, like if you're with a really small bag, I would recommend this one. Uh, the Fujifilm because it's smaller, it's not as bulky, it's a little bit longer and skinnier compared to this one, it's like a lot wider. So I would recommend this one for size. However, I do prefer the shape of this just when you're taking a photo, I just think your hand grips to it a lot nicer. And I also kind of like the yellow more than the green, I know it's just a color thing, but I like the Kodak yellow more than just the Fujifilm green. Um, another thing that I think would be a lot more user friendly is this one because of the flash. You can see here that the flash goes up and it stays without needing a finger or anything like that. You can see it has it's a little, goes a little red. And um, so when you're taking a photo, if you're using only one of your hands, you are able to just press it without needing to hold on the flash. Compared to this one, this one frustrates me sometimes because this is this little, little button. You have to press on it for a very long time until it starts to light up. You can see here, you see now it's really light and like it's even hard to carry when it's shaking. So this one, and so say for example, you want to just use one hand or you're gonna hold something, which I did do in a few photos. I have to like hold it, then where, if I need the flash, where am I gonna put my hand? I'd have to take it off. Press the flash, not get a flash, and it's just not as easy. So you can't really hold things. Like you have to be, you need you need both of your hands to work this one compared to this one. You can use one hand and holding the thing you're photographing. So I think that would this is a lot more user friendly. Um, I asked, I went to Walgreens to do this. I asked them to keep the cameras for sort of this video, so you could see the films in here. And the film comes out from like the top. This one comes out from the side, still on the same side. I don't think it really matters. Tips when using these. I did have a mistake on this. Cam finger, don't put your finger here. Not even close. It will get it. You have to be very distant, which I think this is easier to be distant with compared to this one. I just feel like you just, it just has a better grip for this one. Also, um, you know, you just wind it for the film to um, for you to get the next um, photo. You can only use them once. There's tips on the back on how to use them and like what distance you should be. I um, did make a few mistakes with my distance and a few of my photos, for example this one. Like you just, you can't, most of these photos aren't really best to define, like um, like really take detail into things. It's really just kind of the filter that film has. So if you have something really um, detailed, it might come out blurry. This is not, I personally think, this is not a cheap hobby. For example, I've made other videos of like more cheaper and sustainable ways to make like nice K-pop stuff to display. For example, my um, my grid, my album display right there, or not album display, my photo card and photo, photo display. And this, taking these nice photos, yes, it's nice to have them developed, it's nice to have kind of a filter, but if you're really going to do this often, like it's something you really like to do, like this is probably a one-time thing for me, I'm not really too much of a film person, um, you should de um, just settle on a film camera because these are expensive, it's like, and the prices for these have gone up, like they used to be cheaper, they used to be around five, ten, like five, seven dollars, now they could go up to like ten, twelve dollars for just a camera. 
and then to develop it that's like another 14 to 17 dollars depending on the camera and how many photos you're developing so in total i'm just like like i spent in total just to develop these close to 35 dollars just to develop them plus the camera so just worth money i wouldn't think they're worth the money i would rather just have a camera and have and buy film for it and develop it that way or you could develop it yourself but i think that's really hard and you can mess that up a lot easier um, a lot easier. It's a lot easier to mess up, right? <laughs> so, I don't know where I want to start with this. I think I'm going to start off showing you the bad photos I have. I just put them in sections as you could see. So I'm going to show you the bad photos that I made that were just like horrible and like just, just you can't see anything and why and how I think I could have changed it. So you see these photos? You see nothing, nothing, nothing's in it. Sorry for the glare, the sun's like right on the side. So these photos, I could tell that they were taken. Um, I took these photos at pitch black at night and I had a, um, but the only light I had was the flash and like there was a projector on the screen. I'm gonna upload a vlog on how I took the photos. So if you want a little bit more descriptive version, just wait a week for a vlog on Friday, the next Friday after this video. And I could tell it's from the projector ones because I don't see them. These are the only ones that would fill up the empty spots. So this shows that they're very, very light sensitive. Like very, very, very natural light, the best. It's very sensitive to light. Flash can't save every lighting as it shows. So I think don't do that if it's pitch black and there's not like a person there like a human being if it's just a screen that you're documenting or you're photographing then just don't do it it has to be like an actual object that it could um shine the light on and to do the contrast um so that's my thoughts on those then these few i've got a few this is a heavy stack I call these my bad lighting photos and so i'll start with the bottom like this one these are the ones that these are um, ones I took with my album wall, and the reason for these bad lighting photos is because I thought because it's so close to the sun, which you can see it's half and half. This half, which is actually not closer to the sun, but like kind of like the sun does go on that side. You can see that um, there's no flash on it, so it's just a little bit more dimmed and I didn't put the flash on it because it's just a natural shadow. Like there's just a shadow that will always be on top of it. So when it's a shadowy area and there's like, when I mean direct sunlight, I mean like it's, you could see there's sun on it. It can't be a shadow. Then it you should use flash, I think. Like all these. This one's okay, I think. But a few of these. Shadows, like even if it's just sunny outside, and your room's full of sun, but if that area is not full of sun, like see, like there's sun <laughs> or there's sun like on my face, and it's a shadow, I would recommend to use flash because it will come out grainy, it will come out yellow, and well, that's for um yeah, it will come out yellow, which is especially especially for the Kodak, it comes out with a yellow tint on top, so I personally don't like it without it, so I, it's nice to see though, so. Just use flash if it's in a shadowed area. So this is one without flash, another one with bad lighting. Um, you can just see that's very grainy. You can't really um, define what's inside. Then this one, it's not the exact photo, but it's this concept, it's on the same stool. Flash, it's direct on the object, it's defining the object, and you're able to just get the more vintage feel and it doesn't look like it's whoop, bad, badly photographed. Same with this one. Just it was on top of my bed, same object, same placing, flash, no flash. No flash, grainy, you can't really, it's just shadows everywhere. This one, it puts light and it puts light on the object and then like it fades out. So, and then this one, I took this photo actually before. I wanted to do this video because actually it was the day I decided to. 
I'm a very eager person, so if I get an idea, I'm like, okay, let's just go buy the cameras I want to do the next day. So I just, I, I don't know, I found the Fuji film because I had it for like some camping or beach trip I had, and I never finished the entire thing, and I didn't want to bring it in without it fully um, finished. So I just, I just um, decided to do this video and use up the film, and. This is the photo I took when I second I saw it. This one, you can see, same pose, but the flash. I had the flash on because I thought maybe it's a little dimmed. It makes the whole room dark. And it's in a mirror, this mirror. And I put like the flash on in the mirror. It just it just overwhelms the photo and you can't like you can't see anything else that's going on. You just see the big flash. So if you like that, then go ahead and do it, but you can't do any mirror selfies with, um, with the flash on. This one, however, I did the same photo, no flash. Now, the reason why I'm dark here, if it was the other way around, which I will have a photo where I can show you, I shall get it out right now. With this photo, I'm facing the sun. So this, I take the photo and then the sun's going directly to it and then you know, it's like from this way. Anyway, I'm facing the sun. I'll put in the vlog, you'll see how I took it. I am facing the sun. So you could obviously see that it's more defined. And again, it's not that detailed. It'll always be more blurred as just how the film effect is. And compared to this one, I'm against the sun. So the object, me, and that's even how like I film the videos. I can't be against the sun or I'll be black or I will be dark. But this way, you could actually see me same as this I'm against the Sun so you could see a little bit of the Sun but it's mainly shadowed and also I'm darker and you can't really see what I'm doing and who I am so out of these two actually I would prefer this one though I kind of like this one to be honest and I'm gonna pick my favorite photo out of them but I like this one to be honest but this one's just kind of you should be against it but if you want the same effect in the photo in the sense in the back then you would obviously do this so those are my thoughts on those so I took a few photos with the album not why do I keep on calling it album wall the photo card wall this one I I figured like I probably should use flash it's just a very like no sunlight ever gets there so I usually just I used flash and I love how it looks with the flash I think it looks amazing you can really see it again it blurs it but I just kind of a film look. Then I took my chances <laughs> and I did two selfies <laughs> right here. I love these selfies. They're so nice. I love these selfies. I think I like this one more. I just kind of like this slanted side angle. That's how I usually do my videos. I'm going to be on the side. And this one too. I was really taking my chances. I was like, whatever happens, I just took it. So I like this one. And I'm really happy about this one. You will for sure see these two on Instagram. And yeah, so these were, this is one of my favorite batches. Start off saying some things I did with my sister. So I let my sister photograph because Kodak had 10 times more photos on this one and I wanted to help her out with her business, start my studio. So we took a few photos of her business. I'm not sure which one she's gonna upload, but you should go follow her on Instagram. It's her resin crafts and jewelry business. Um, and so we took a few photos. I'm just gonna show them. This is probably one of my favorite out of them. You can see it's on a bag. It's on one of my bags. In the back, it's again, not too defined. It's very blurry, but that's the film effect. You can see that we weren't really able to, it does tell you I should, you should be 4 to 11.5 feet between the object and I think that goes with both of the cameras. But that's why we are really too close to the camera. So unless you really like this blurred effect, I'm not sure she'll upload these just because it looks very blurry and you can't really tell what it is. And I like this one though, I like kind of like the blurred effect. You can't, it's supposed to say Hobie but it doesn't say it. This one too, it's supposed to say Hobie but you can't really see it. And I think we are just way too close to the object. Plus. These, <laughs> I think also, it's also blurred because when I was doing it, I was like shaking because I had to have my hand out. And she was taking way too long to take it. So this one too, is like a necklace, so it was moving back and forth. So I think that's also why I was blurring, but I also think it's the film um, filter that it has. Because this one, you could see this one could have also been moving. But we we're just a little slightly too close to it. 
this one, again, we were just really bad with these two. You could see with this one as well. Like we just weren't able to tell. Like we weren't. We didn't have a good. Um, we thought it was on it, but it was actually a little bit higher than it actually was, which is okay. I think it's fine. We were supposed to get the object, but I don't even think it would have shown well because a lot of her stuff is transparent, and with transparent objects, I don't. I think just I just think the effect it has with the sun. It just makes it a lot more blurry and doesn't define it even as well. Compared to the more solid objects, it's really able to sensor onto the object. So with both of these, it's kind of cropped. I like this one too a lot. And then this is photos I took. So she has some hair barrettes. I modeled them on my head. I liked these. These were some of my favorite hair barrettes. I also wore these hair barrettes at the BTS movie. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch it and I just had the brights on here they're perfectly fine again never too defined because of the filter I also like this one where I modeled on my bag two other keychains and then this one she made like this new one this is one of her favorite items it's not really for sale but this is one of her favorite items she's just doing some it's kind of a gin inspired one so that was the Starmy Studio collection photo shoot <laughs> because let's make it sound a lot more nicer than it is. And then I took a few photos on the concrete, but just sorry to my skirt, I got you dirty on the concrete. I love the photos of the concrete, I really do. I think just the idea of all these photos on the concrete, I'll just go through. They all look really nice, they, they're evened out well. I think this, I usually use, utilize the sun and the angling well. This one too, I love the tint this one has. Love this one. You can see my whole hand. You can just see me doing my finger her and just my shadow. I like the shadow one. So then another one for my hand. I really like how they define shadows well too. And then my sister and I have shadows. This one. So you for sure see the shadow ones on like concrete. These are beautiful. Ooh, maybe even some of my favorite. I'm not even sure which one I'm going to choose as my favorite yet we'll see <laughs> and then this one is a category where i just put it against the color green and i just use a leaf a plant i liked how the contrast with these objects are i would i would honestly recommend if it's not white use it to a darker or more um um vibrant color i think it really uses the film effect really well so you can see a few of these the color Another selfie, another selfie, and then you can just see a skirt with that. Like the vibrant color. I also just took a random photo of my, of my backpack. Not too simple, not too bad. This is kind of the Kodak versus Fujifilm category. I took some more photos of each camera. This is, okay. <laughs> this is Fuji, and no, this is Kodak. This is Fuji, I'm pretty sure. I am wrong. Um, I didn't jade will tell you if I'm right or wrong. Okay. And so this one, fail. Fuji fail. I just took a photo of my arm, <laughs> which is fine. And then these two, I loved the the ones against the sunset. This is one of my Jaehyun matching albums. New Zone. Whew. That brings us all the way back to like March. And then this one's of another NCT album. I love the superhuman, I love the colors, and I thought it would look great with the sunset, and it does. I use flash, I'm really happy that the flash got the sunset. These with the Kodak, I took one with my Army Bomb. Look at the Army Bomb. I like this one too a lot. Maybe this is one of my favorite. I can't choose. <laughs> anyway, and then this is another one. You can't really see because of the white, but this is one of my favorite BTS albums. <laughs> so I love the I love the sunset collection I have here. This one I wanted to um, do an action shot of Mong flying, but I was obviously too far back and I got my scissors hand. So if you see them on Instagram, you'll probably I'll probably crop it a little bit. But you can also see my sister here trying to throw it. <laughs> I was trying to get it like right in the middle, but obviously I took them too early because I was panicking. I was like, I have to get early before it falls. So actually when I was taking it, it seemed like it was like going really slowly though. 
my hair, just being delusional. You can also see I went a little too far because like, you can see the top of the balcony. Anyway, so this one I liked a lot. This one's with the Kodak and this one's with the Fuji film. This one, of my videos, I do a little bit of color collection, correction. So this one kind of goes really with how I color correct my videos. And it's with the kind of more purple tint, like kind of a darker tone, it's like purple, a little bit green, maybe even a little yellow tint on it. This one's a lot more of a yellow vintage tint. So just with how you prefer your photos, it really depends on kind of like, especially with photos exactly like this, and you can see how it relates in the same situation, or it reacts in the same situation. This one puts more of a purple tint and filter. This one puts more of a yellow, orange filter on it. It's not too, you can't really um, specify too much about it, but it's a noticeable difference. Very, very noticeable difference. Fuji, Kodak. This one just in general, I don't like the photo as well. Honestly, I don't think I like photos when they're against white too much. I like it more of a vibrant color, um, but this one you can obviously tell more yellow, brown, orange tint. This one's obviously a pink, purple tint, blue maybe. Just lighter tones, darker tones. Fuji darker tones, Kodak lighter tones, which is kind of funny because if you look at the cameras, darker, lighter, yellow. So maybe hinting at you how it works. Okay, and then. This one, you can't really tell it as much, maybe because there's a lot more objects there, so um, it's able to um, even it out more, but shoot, I don't even know which one's which. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is Fuji. I think this is Kodak, I forgot, oops. Okay, but one of these, um, I took with one. You can kind of see one, I think, so this is a Fuji, right, I think. And this one, you could tell it has more glares. So I think it's more sensitive to detail, I think. It has more glares. Here it has a glare. Here you could see it glared. Um, even the silver, it's glared a little bit. Um, but it also is well at defining. This one, on the bottom, you can see it's, it has a lot of um, attention. But in other areas, there's not any glares. It's not as glared in my um, in the middle of the backpack and other areas. So it's a good comparison. If you see how it affects to light and the flash, how the flash affects. Um. So overall, my favorite photos, right? I mean, this video is coming to an end. <laughs> anyway, so I think ugh, I like a lot of these photos. So I love the photos I took against the wall. I love the sunset. I love this how this the choice of the album and the sunset. And I also kind of like this very blurry effect of my Hobie photo card display here in my hand. I really like the effect on this. I really think it like you can also see the little flowers in the back and the sun. So I really like these two, which are completely different. I just think this shows that film could be very versatile and you could see the difference, but I also like this one too. I just don't think I like as much the the top. You can kind of see it's a little bit shaded. But you can see that's how flash works. It goes to center and then it fades out to a little bit darker. I also like this one too. I love the selfie. It's so cute. I think I'm gonna overall I'm gonna say this one just because the colors and just the this mesh is so well together. I think it'll sing in so well. Perfect timing, beautiful sunset. So I think it was really able to document that beautiful sunset in a great way. So yeah, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A film vlog, just like me taking the locations. My thought process through each location will be uploaded next week, hopefully. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other kind of challenges or reviews and objects you want me to do with a little K-pop twist on it, just because I want to have topics revolving my channel, be um, be K-pop. I'm related stuff, so if you have any suggestions, just go comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. 
do all of that, you know, the whole thing that all YouTubers ask you to do. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great night or evening and goodbye. Bye.